The Check Block Consistency tool is used to make sure that block calls and interfaces are correct. It is a great tool for updating function block data block calls and user data type or UDT calls. To begin, right click on the Blocks folder. Select Check Block Consistency. There's a red X next to DB18 and a yellow exclamation point next to FB18. The problem resides in OB1. The FB18 DB18 call is being made in OB1 and there's also a yellow exclamation point next to FC4. Click the dependency structure icon to see only the blocks that have interface problems and what block they depend on to run. To see the meanings of the icons, press F1 for help. Click buttons in the tree view. The red X indicates that an object must be recompiled, and the yellow exclamation point indicates a timestamp conflict, which generally means there's an interface problem such as added local variables in a block where the call to the block has not been updated. Close the help screen. Let's go back to the tree reference view. We will now compile all the blocks and see if that fixes the interfaces. Click the compile all button. The compiler runs. The compiler indicates there's an error. OB1 could not be compiled and it still contains a timestamp conflict. The red X is gone next to DB18, but there are still yellow exclamation points next to DB18, FC4, and FB18, all being called from OB1. Close the check block consistency window. Let's open OB1. The programming editor tells us there's a timestamp conflict with at least one block call. Click OK. Scroll down the block to find that the FC4 block is red. The pop-up note tells us that the interface has changed. Right-click the block. From the context-sensitive menu, choose Update Block Call. This option only shows when there's an interface conflict of a block call. The editor shows the old block on the left side and the new block on the right side, which contains a new input variable named PV. Click OK to accept the new block. The compiler opened this block but could not fix it because a formal parameter had to be supplied to the input variable of the FC and only the user can do that. The formal parameter should be an integer so we will enter the integer value 55. Save the block. No other conflicts showed so let's close the block. Right click the blocks folder again and choose Check Block Consistency. No conflicts are showing. When OB1 was opened, the FB18 DB18 interface was automatically updated and we fixed the call to FC4. The Check Block Consistency tool can generally fix interface issues with function blocks data blocks, and user-defined data types, or UDTs. The tool cannot fix interface changes to functions, or FCs. The user must do that. This concludes the video, 